Uh, yes, it can be, I'm afraid, depending, of course, on certain variables, such as how serious the charges are, uh, what court the matter's being heard in, whether or not you're pleading guilty or not guilty to the charges, and so, of course, whether there's going to be a fully defended uh, trial or just a sentence hearing and, and those sort of things. Um, but it's virtually impossible to predict with certainty just how expensive a case is going to be until you know some of the detail of what's being alleged and what your response to the allegations is going to be. But those things can usually be assessed pretty accurately and pretty quickly, at least in a preliminary and guarded fashion, by any experienced and capable criminal lawyer. So usually, uh, provided you can give your lawyer uh, all the detail of your charges and specifically what's being alleged against you, an experienced and competent pretty, uh, criminal lawyer should be able to give you a fairly good idea, even at your first meeting, precisely what court the case is likely to be heard in, whether you're likely to have any defence or defences to any of the charges and some sort of ballpark estimate of what it's all likely to cost you. Of course, every case is different and, as you'd probably expect, depending on what the case is, the costs can vary enormously, ranging from around $1,000 all up for a very simple case to tens and even hundreds of thousands of dollars in the case of very lengthy, serious and complex criminal trials. Uh, it's particularly important for you to m note that the Legal Aid Office funds a broad range of criminal cases, so if you're charged with a criminal offence and you can't afford private representation, the Legal Aid Office may provide you with a full legal representation throughout the whole process, completely free of charge. But if you're not eligible for legal aid and for whatever reason uh, you, you want to engage private representation, you should ask your lawyer for at least a broad estimate of your likely cost exposure at an early stage so you can anticipate and manage your finances to cover those costs. Some firms, like Nice Legal for example, will be willing to enter into a fixed fee agreement uh, with you in certain cases so that you can agree upfront uh, what the total fee will be from start to finish and so give you a level of certainty in managing your finances and dealing with the matter generally. Unfortunately, not all cases can be dealt with by fixed fee arrangement because of the unknowns and uncertainty inherent in some prosecutions. But if the idea of a fixed fee arrangement appeals to you, you should raise it with your lawyer at an early opportunity so you can explore the possibility of proceeding in that way. Naturally, the more simple and straightforward cases involving, for example, sentencing of relatively minor drug offences and drink driving offences and minor police matters uh, of the like in the magistrate's court are inevitably best suited to fixed fee arrangements which can remove much of the uncertainty and accompanying heartache and anxiety associated with such prosecutions. Unfortunately, uh, in the end of the day, with private representation, cost is inevitable, but with proper planning and efficient lawyering, hopefully it can still remain manageable for you.